Have you ever had to troubleshoot routing protocol configuration across multiple devices in the network? In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use NetBrain's no-code automation to do just that. First, we're going to create an intent to automate OSPF diagnosis on a device, then extend this devices to its OSPF neighbors and be able to draw them automatically on a map. Then I will show you different methods to leverage this intent to help automate your problem diagnosis. Right to the power of no code, let's dive right in. So here I'm in my NetBrain environment and I'm going to go ahead and open a new intent. Let's give this intent a nice title so we understand what it's doing. And I'm going to add a device. Let's add our device to our automation. And let's add a CLI diagnosis. Show IP OSPF neighbor. Uh, we'll call it SPF neighbor checks. And we're going to say if the current state does not equal the baseline state, then we'll have an alert. We're also going to add another piece of logic here to be able to show this result on the map. And that's an intent data view. So we'll go ahead and do that. And we'll click apply. Now, let's add one more check to this. And we're going to do a show IP root summary and get the output of that command. So now from this table, we want to look at if there's any changes to the entries relating to our OSPF, right? We're either learning or losing any subnets. Let's go ahead and do another diagnosis. We're going to call this summary check. If subnets does not equal the subnets from baseline, then again, we will say OSPF subnets has changed. Now we're good to go with this diagnosis, so we'll apply it. Now, there is one thing that we haven't done yet and that I mentioned off the top. Extending this to the OSPF neighbors and drawing them on a map. So let's add another diagnosis and let's call this extend neighbors. If neighbor ID is not empty, this means as long as we find a neighbor ID in the OSPF neighbor table, then we're going to continue and do this logic. So in this case, we're going to replicate this intent to those neighbors. We'll draw an arrow from this device to those devices. Let's go ahead and click OK and save that configuration. All of our diagnosis is now done and our, our extending of neighbors. So now we can go ahead and actually execute this automation on a map. And now let's execute the automation. So now this is done. We can see all the, the different things that happen. So let's click this eyeball icon now to get everything on top of our map. Here we go. We can see that from our initial device here, we mapped out the two OSPF neighbors. And you can see the arrows going through them. And then we have the result of the automation appearing on the map. So we can see the neighbor states have not changed and we validate our diagnosis. We can also see there was some diagnosis for IP route summary. We can still very quickly understand that the subnet counts did not change. What's another way we can use this? So I have an OSPF troubleshooting automation bot that I can go ahead and start up here. So I'll click start. And now this is self-service automation. I'm able to now click troubleshoot OSPF. Let me select a device. I'll select our friend here again that we were just, just uh, running automation on. And here we go, it finished. We can see we looked at four devices and we found no errors, which is great. We can look at a status code summary and we can see all the different checks that were happening and the results and everything's green, which is fantastic. We can look at the map. We can open this up in NetBrain and view it or open an incident portal, which would allow seamless collaboration between teams because with this portal, you can give anybody read-only access to this result. So we were able to easily see here how we can build automations to automate our problem diagnosis steps and then utilize them in a variety of different methods, all being created with no code. If this has helped you, then I'd love to invite you to learn more about NetBrain's no code network intent automation. Go ahead and click the link in the description box to learn more. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Thank you.